Hey everybody, this is Tia. Um, I hope y'all are having a good day or a good night, depending on when you're watching this video. Today I want to talk about something that I found kind of interesting and I want to share with you all. Um, I was looking on the internet yesterday and I was reading about uh, Delonte West and it seems that his team, the Dallas Mavericks, uh, won an opportunity to go to the White House today to meet President Obama. Um, but supposedly, he was uh, banned from going. They always do background checks and everything on everybody that's supposed to come to the White House, apparently, which is a good idea and a good thing to do. And supposedly because his background check came back bad, he wasn't allowed to attend the White House with the rest of his team members. Now, um, according to what I read, I think this was last year, he got into some bad trouble and he pled guilty to um, a weapons charge that he had. He had guns on him, I guess, that he weren't supposed to have. When they pulled him over on a routine stop or something that he didn't do, he did an illegal change or something of that nature. And, you know, he got arrested for that. But um, he was saying that he wasn't he wasn't invited. He said, I guess that's what happens when you do bad things. You're not allowed to go to the White House. And then he said, you know, going by the quotes that I read, he said that it's a shame that uh, President Obama won't get a chance to meet me. And then he said that he would like to go. He said he's the president of his house. That's what Delonte West is saying. Okay, you guys, first of all, um, I think what he said about President Obama not meeting him, it goes both ways. I think he probably was just saying it to be slick and probably because he was mad that he didn't get a chance to go, that he was banned. And, you know, as far as I'm saying, he was the president, I guess he was just making a reference because he can't see the president and he feels like he's the president of his household. I don't think he should have really said it that way, but when you get mad, sometimes you say things to make your point. I think he really probably wanted to see President Obama. The other thing he mentioned also was that he grew up all over D.C. and that he's been, I guess, to the White House, around the White House over a hundred times. And he is going back today to visit his hometown. He just won't be going to the White House. And he says it's a shame because he, he lives around there and he's been there all his life. He's lived there. Now, I'm going to say this and then there's something else I want to say about this as well. Um, I don't, if he really did get banned, I'm going to say this is my personal experience. I don't feel like they should have banned him from going to see the president. I believe that they have a right to check everybody and see what's on their background. So because you are visiting the president, and that's a highly respected job and high profile and people be trying to kill the president, hurt him and do all kinds of stuff. So no matter who, who, what president is in office, they always have these kind of threats, been having them for many, many years. So they're doing the right thing by the security detail, by, by checking everybody and making sure they're on point. Now, I know weapons is serious because that means you could kill somebody, hurt somebody, especially if you're not legally uh, supposed to have guns on you or with you. But I feel like they went a little overboard on that. They should just kind of, they really should just let that go. I mean, this is Delonte West. Now, unless Delonte West had threatened to kill the president, or hurt somebody on his team, then yeah, no, don't invite him. But I feel like if it's nothing like that, they should overlook it because people make mistakes. They're trying to be a better person. I don't feel like that should hinder him from not going to see the president. It has to be something very serious, like what I just said, or something very, very extreme recently. If he tried to kill somebody, you know, deliberately, wasn't self-defense, anything like that. I don't think that he should be held above anybody else because he's a basketball player. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying him being a person, if it was, I don't have any, nothing on my record, but I'm just saying if it was me or anybody else, a regular person, I don't feel like they should hold that against them either unless it's something real severe like what I just mentioned. But, but supposedly they went and met with the president this morning and everything. Now, here comes a weird thing that I just recently read. Secret Service, a member of Secret Service actually said that he wasn't banned from meeting President Obama. He could have attended if he wanted to. Hmm. 
And even the team uh, spokesman for the team that he plays on, the Dallas Mavericks, even said the same thing. That he was not banned. Um, he could have came if he wanted to. But she declined to say why he didn't attend. Everybody, what's up with that? Um, what's going on? He claims that he got banned. So... I would figure if he didn't get banned or if he didn't think that was the case, he could have went. Especially since he lived in D.C. and he was going to go. Why the hell would they? Why the hell would he make something up by saying he felt he was banned? And why is the Secret Service people and the team spokesman saying he wasn't banned? He could have came if he wanted to. Y'all, somebody lying. I don't know who lying. I don't know the Dante uh, Delante. I'm sorry. Is um was misunderstood about what happened. Or either the Secret Service people or maybe they changed their mind and said he could come even though he had all these things on his record. Or the Secret Service is lying and is trying to cover their, you know, cover their, cover their butt. Same thing with the team uh, spokesperson. I don't know what it is. Because I was going to come on here and tell y'all that, oh, he, they should have banned him and all this and that. Which I still say if that's the case. But now since I just read, I mean, just now read this, I don't know what to think. It's just something that came to my mind that I wanted to share with y'all. So, I guess we'll never know what the, what the deal is. Maybe we'll find out in time. I don't know, but it's just it's awfully weird that he went through this big hoopla by saying he got banned and couldn't go. And now all of a sudden they're saying, oh no, he could have came. So, if he really could have came, they should have that, made that clear to him way before he went to news media and everything and telling them that he can't go and made it a big deal and if that was the case then I would have went so I don't know I don't know what's going on with that I don't know personally I feel like maybe the secret services they're just they're just saying that I think that he really probably they probably said well we really don't want him to come because he got all his records on him and whatever and he took it as okay I'm not going to go and then they said, but if you want to come, you can't come. And maybe he felt like since that was the case, he didn't want to come. Who knows, y'all? That's my cell phone, y'all. Anyway, um, I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. Um, you got any comments, you know, about this? You know, let me know what you think. Send me a comment. Uh... And tell me what you think is if it's this way or that way or not. I don't know, y'all. I'm sorry, that was a little babbling, but um, that's my video. Another another text message. Hmm, I'm popular. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, that's it in my video for today. So again, let me know what you think. And uh, till next time, I will see you when I see you. You have a good day and a good night. And take care. Bye.